The time has finally come for me to take all your pain away. <laughs> yeah. My fault if that came off a little serious, but today I'm gonna be giving y'all the best dribble moves in NBA 2K23 for all builds, whether you're a small guard, tall guard, medium sized guard, whether you a big man, it don't really matter what, I'm gonna hook you up with the best dribble moves. And I'm gonna tell you the most needed playmaking badges. Now playmaking badges, there's only a couple I feel like you really, really need. But yeah, we just gonna get straight into it, man. Make sure y'all do drop a like, sub, turn on post notifications. It's very much appreciated. There's not gonna be a lot of current gen clips in here, even though I have been playing current gen lately because I really don't. I don't feel like I've gotten, you know, a lot of great clips that I feel like match up with the type of clips I get on next gen, so. I just took a couple clips and put them on here just so y'all can see like the teleport move and some of the moves that I don't use on next gen. But other than that, these drill moves are overpowered. I'm gonna be giving y'all some stage gameplay on current gen too. So if y'all are ready for that, let me know. And yeah, let's just get straight into the drill moves and everything. So first things first, I'm gonna pop up the drill moves for small guards. And then for tall guards, anything 6'5 through 6'9. And I'm going to also pop up my dribble moves for, excuse me, woo! And I'm going to pop up my dribble moves for 6'10 pluses. So those are the dribble moves for tall, small, and even taller guards. Um, when it comes to playmaking badges, I'm going to pop up the playmaking badges that I use. The ones that I feel like I really like must have done, I'm talking about like if you're making a new build, and you're wondering what playmaking badges or what badges you need before you hit the park. You need limitless takeoff on silver when it comes to finishing. And then when it comes to shooting, you need green machine, amped, limitless range, and agent threes. If you got those four badges on, you should be able to really hit any type of shot. And then after that, when it comes to playmaking, quick first step, unpluckable, and then the other two that are that I would say like you could have before you go to park is clamp breaker and bailout. Bailout because I like as a point guard I bail out a lot. I don't know what you do, but I feel like those badges you could really because I left to go play park when I had quick first step silver and unpluckable gold, and that's what some of these clips are from. Well, some of the current gen clips. So honestly, I feel like as long as you got those badges, quick first step unpluckable main b clamp breaker then you should be able to go to park cook up and get the rest of your badges defensively i mean i don't know what to tell y'all when it comes to defense i ain't gonna lie bro like i use a lot of different defensive badges but anchor is probably the one as long as you got anchor clamps and challenger those three badges i feel like will help with three completely different things that are very important when it comes to the defense anchor paint stops you know clamps helps you you know get more bumpy with the defenders and everything like that and then the last one i said i can't even remember what the last one i said was challenger that one helps you you know when you're contesting them perimeter shots so those three i feel like are you know what i'm saying but there is a lot of defensive badges that are really good you know glove and there's just a countless number that are really good but yeah man that's the best dribble moves y'all all the dribble moves that i use on top of that badges for each category if you're somebody who's making a new build as long as you got the badges i listed today you'll be able to take it to park i'm happy to announce that i've made a discord for all my supporters to join if you're somebody who wants to find teammates you're somebody that wants the latest update on all my videos in case noties don't go out you're somebody that just wants people to talk to or you're somebody who wants to come through there, self-promote and do whatever. There's a tab for self-promoting too. There's party chat so you could go in there and play with people. It's not fully set up nicely because I haven't made discords, but it is there. The link will be in the description. If you do want to join, everybody is welcome. Just do not be toxic because toxic vibes are not tolerated at all. If you come in there with any type of toxic vibes, you'll be kicked out. Now let's get straight to the video.